Well, Steve, it was a pit maneuver that caused the crash here at 44th and Open. You can see some of the damage still left behind. This used to be a fence. The chain link has been stripped off that. Now it's just fence post over here. You can see some damage to the deck. There was also a car that was totaled. The homeowner believes the chase was too dangerous for a residential neighborhood and wasn't sure if the risk was worth the reward. This is the aftermath of a pit maneuver made Friday afternoon by Des Moines police. An officer noticed the black truck's license plate didn't match the vehicle, and when they attempted to pull it over, the chase was on. And it ended in Anna Knoll's yard, destroying her renter's car and damaging her house. But even that's not my main concern. My main concern is that this was a dangerous crash. Noel has submitted a claim for the damages, but she's not convinced the chase should have continued down a narrow residential street in the middle of the afternoon. Police say they always assess risk versus reward. To put my neighborhood at risk for that very minor reward of picking somebody up on a license plate violation seems to me like an overreach and an excessive use of both the city's vehicles and my neighborhood, which seems to have taken all of the risk. Well, it's a, it's a small traffic violation that turns into a big traffic violation as soon as they re disregard our, our instructions to stop. The Des Moines Police Department's vehicle pursuit policy has a long list of factors officers consider when initiating and terminating a pursuit. Seriousness of the offense is not listed, but Sergeant Paul Parisic says they do take that into consideration. We certainly don't want to create a society where criminals know that all they have to do to avoid arrest is just run away from the police. Daniel Lee Brown was the man arrested after the chase. In addition to the registration violation and eluding charges, police also found a pipe on Brown. A criminal complaint states Brown admitted it was used to smoke meth and he was charged with drug paraphernalia. People run for a reason and it's, it's, we, we can't read their minds, so what we do is assess the danger of actually continuing the pursuit. Despite that, Noel says the pit maneuver was too dangerous and put everyone in her neighborhood at risk. I don't feel like I've been protected by the police department. I feel like I've been put at risk for a very minor violation. Now, Sergeant Parizic did mention that some agencies do have no chase policies, but mentioned that that can send the wrong message to criminals. We're live in Des Moines, Bo Bowman, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's news leader.